So what I'm working on here today, uh, on the hood ornament of this truck, the, there's an eagle ornament here, and I want to illuminate the eyes on both sides of the hood ornament. I've attached it to the hood, and uh, you can see how there's a there's a green wire and a blue wire that actually come out of the hood ornament. The green wire is ground, so I've already attached a terminal there, crimped a terminal on it and screwed it into the hood. The hood is actually grounded all the way back through here. You can see there's a ground, uh, braided ground cable that runs up this harness into the owner hood lamp. And it, you can see it's screwed there. So the hood is properly grounded. And normally they are for uh, to reduce noise in the radio. You'll find most of the hoods have, have a grounding strap on them. So then the other connection here is this blue. This gets 12 volts from the battery or headlamp or whatever, however you want to control it. I think I've uh, decided since it doesn't draw very much current, I think it only draws 11 milliamps. I'm just going to tie it into the battery and just have it on all the time. I don't think it'll it'll be a problem. So the next thing I'm going to do here is... Uh, make this connection here between the blue and the red to provide power. And I've also I've routed the, this red wire all the way down here through this channel in the hood. So it's gonna come out here. And then I can just route it over and tie it into this uh, lamp here that's that has 20, 12 volts to it all the time. And that'll be a simple, later if I wanna change it, I can just disconnect it and run more wiring. So this is basically the schematic of what I'm wiring up. The LED here is actually the light source inside the hood ornament. The green wire is the ground. That's just going to get tied to the metal of the hood. And uh, the other, there's also an internal dropping resistor. It's about a 1,000 ohm, 1K ohm resistor that takes the 12 volts and drops it down to about 2.5 or 3 volts across the LED. And so this 12 volts, that's the... Uh, Right here, that would be the blue wire that I'm going to attach a red wire to, to go to anything of my choosing that I, however I want to power up the light. It's basically, you know, pretty simple circuit there. This is the symbol for an LED. It has the, the shows the photon light being emitted and the cathode and the anode. The cathode, uh, the electrons flow out of the ground and into the arrow and towards the battery. So... This is the schematic. I like to use these little insulated crimp connectors when I'm uh, connecting uh, wires together like that. So they're very, very handy. So I'll strip back the red wire first. And I just slide the uh, one end of the crimp barrel in. And here's some crimping pliers for it. You just crimp one side. And I like to test it, give it a little tug to make sure it's not coming out. So now I've got the red wire connected to one end of the barrel, and so I just have to strip back the blue. And here I like to, since the wire's so fine, I'm going to strip back a, a double the amount, I think, and, and bend it over just to get more copper in there. And then also, I need to have this wire come out of the same hole there. I'm gonna have to route it around in here a little bit. Now I can plug the, the blue wire into this other end of the barrel crimp. And use the crimp tool to make the connection. Give it a little tug, looks good. So now I've got the connection made up. I'm gonna pull that wire back, that connection back up in there. Yeah. 
So next I'm gonna confirm, I'm gonna measure the current draw of the LED. I've got the connections made to the 300 milliamp input max set on DC amps. And here's the red wire that comes from the LED. I'll attach uh, one lead to that. And I'll take the black lead, and I'll attach that over to the battery post terminal. And I see that it's showing uh, about 10 milliamps, 10 milliamps of current. And let's see if we can see, uh, it's not very bright in the, out here in the daylight. There it is with the LED, I'll turn it on and off, off and on. So you can see it, it's not very, not very bright, but it, I think it'll be pretty noticeable uh, at night and probably not noticeable at all during the day. So my final step is to tie in the red wire. In this case, I'm gonna tie it into this red wire here with, through a fuse, but I like to use a silicone tubing to make sure the hard edge of that trunk metal doesn't cut into the insulation over time. So I just take a section of, uh, I, use, I like to use silicone tubing. So I'll feed that into there. And then push the silicone tubing up into there and zip tie it over to here and make my connection uh, right in here somewhere through here. And that'll complete the installation.